No. Oh, he's not even wearing pants. No, he's naked. Which <laughs> Welcome back to another video, guys. And today, American Psycho, something I've been meaning to watch for a while. And with my TikTok for you page being filled with all these Sigma male memes, having just watched Joker as well. It's only fair I get into this today. Really looking forward to Christian Bale's performance as well as just seeing how disturbing this film can get. And as usual, if you guys do want the full length reaction to this, exclusive content, early access to more, be sure to check out my Patreon right now in the description. And we do have a great community over there too. As well as right now, we are so close to 100,000 subscribers, which is insane. I can't really believe it. But if you could help me get there before my birthday, which is the 23rd of May, so very soon, if you could get me to 100,000 before then, I'll be extremely happy. And I really appreciate all of you guys supporting me, watching my content, no matter how long you've been here. It means the world to me. I do love doing this. So now all that intro soppy stuff is out of the way. It's Sigma male mode. <laughs> Give us another drop of blood. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Was that a ketchup? On a steak? See, I never understood these fancy dinners. I don't like restaurants as it is. Just give me the fattest dirty burger and a milkshake. Squid ravioli in a lemongrass broth. Oh, very nice. Our pasta tonight is a squid ravioli in a lemongrass broth. Why aren't we doors yet? Because Bateman won't give the maitre d' head. <laughs> I'm sorry? He does look good though in the suit. Paul Allen's on the other side of the room over there. Oh, who's he with? They don't have a good bathroom to do coke in. <laughs> What a normal thing to say. Cool it with the anti-Semitic remarks. Oh, I forgot. Bateman's dating someone from the ACLU. <laughs> only 570. Only 570. Oh, the satire is already strong. Come on. Think of all the Chris Evans cutouts you can get for that amount of money. Chris Evans merchandise. Sony on the rocks. These aren't good anymore. It's a cash bar. You're a f ugly bitch. I want to stab you to death <coughs> and play around with your blood. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. What? Okay, you're American Psycho, what did I expect? But still, that was a bit strong. Hey, yo. Bussy. <laughs> My name is Patrick Bateman. I'm 27 years old. I believe in taking care of myself in a rigorous exercise routine. <laughs> you can just tell he's so full of himself. I mean, you can't lie, he is really lean there. It is insane how he changed his body. I use a deep pore cleanser lotion. I use a water activated gel. <laughs> so over the top. Jeez, veins on the abs as well. I always use an aftershave lotion, then an anti aging eye balm, followed by a final moisturizing protective lotion. Yeah, my head is spinning from that product, so doing, dude. And though I can hide my cold gaze, I simply am not there. That gave me the chills though, that's a pretty good monologue. But I'm not sure quite what he means, like he's dead inside. Like, I do get questions people asking what I do for my skin. A cold shower, and that's it. Don't put anything on my face. <laughs> that's the meme. It's <laughs> some Sigma song. <laughs> All over my TikTok. I need reservations for three at Camels. Yes, sir. And I need reservations for two at Arcadia. All these places with reservations. It's the whole status thing, right? Don't wear that outfit again. What? I didn't hear you. What? You don't like this, I take it. Prettier than that. Oh god. He's really trying to be unlikable. It's the way you know some people try to pretend like that this guy is just so, <laughs> so funny. And lots of chocolate truffles. Good either. But Evelyn, my supposed fiance, keeps buzzing in my ear. <laughs> Supposed fiance, supposed. Just buzzing in my ear. I mean, imagine wanting to talk to your fiance. If father practically owns the company, you can do anything you like, silly. See why you just don't quit. Because I want to fit in. I genuinely don't even know what to make of this. I'm on the verge of tears by the time we arrive at a spot. We won't have a decent table. <laughs> Is the be all end all. No table. Oh. Um, why is he kissing your fiance like that? I'm fairly certain that Timothy, Bryce, and Evelyn are having an affair. You don't say! Make it a bit obvious. I'm having an affair. Oh. Her closest friend. Oh, you're both having affairs. Well, what about the massacres in Sri Lanka, honey? There are a lot more important problems than Sri Lanka to worry about. Like what? Stop terrorism and world hunger. The thing is, this is what conversations people actually have. One-upping what worst problem there is. 
in the way of trying to come across better yourself, rather than actually talking about the problem. Less materialism in how people. He's the most materialistic person. How thought provoking. <laughs> This is a comedy. This is a full-blown comedy. But I feel like he's gonna kill her. The psycho starts now. Wait, oh, it's already a bit of a psycho. Hello. Hello. Oh no, I'm scared. Bleachy? Are you trying to say bleachy? These are very expensive sheets, and I really need to play. Oh my god, there's blood on the sheets. I will kill you. I yeah. I have a lunch meeting. He's already killed. What that girl? Stupid bitchy! Understand? Patrick. Hi. That is so unlike the front he puts onto his friends. Cranberry juice, cran apple. Really? No, it's not. Maybe we could do lunch one day next week. You know, I'm downtown. I don't know quite <laughs> They're all over him. I actually love this. Plans? What could you possibly be up to tonight? Uh, why are you watching that? What he's watching that on TV? Well, that explains it. Stop calling me pumpkin, okay? I'm thinking towards you. Dorsey is nice. Or something fabulous. <laughs> I can't get over the video in the background. Like, why has he got it on? Dor <laughs> Two at eight or eight thirty, perhaps. <laughs> oh, is this some super exclusive restaurant? The ego has been slashed. Perfect children. Oh God. Yeah, I've never had Xanax, but it looks a bit crazy for me. This is Dorothea? Yes, dear. You're gonna have the peanut butter <laughs> soup with smoked duck. She probably believes it. And then the red snapper with violets and pine nuts. Mm. <laughs> he's just doing everything for her. He's trying to create this image of the perfect woman, isn't he? Like morphing her into what he sees as perfect. Valentino Couture. Oh. Looks so soft. <laughs> Mitz off. Hello, Halber Stram. Nice tie. It's Morbius. The greatest movie on earth. Congratulations on the Fisher account. Thank you, Baxter. Call me. What was that intense sound effect? Shh. Oh, they love New the cards. business cards. What do you think? It's like dick size. <laughs> Comparing. Look at this. That. The exact same thing. How do nitwit like you get so tasteful? I can't believe that Bryce prefers Van Patten's car. <laughs> <laughs> Raised lettering. White. They're all the same. Very nice. Mm. <laughs> He's getting so furious. And this is what people care about. It's just mocking it, isn't it? See Paul Allen's card. Same thing. A tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. Are you sweating? The speaks levels. I can't believe he prefers his card. Money? Some food? You're not a generous person, are you giving him money? I lost my job. Insider trading? <laughs> Just joking. You gotta get your act together. I'll help you. Please, you gotta tell me what to do. Oh, he doesn't want you touching him. You might kill you for that. I don't have anything in common with you. Oh, thank you, mister. Thank you. He's <laughs> stabbing him? <laughs> no, wait, the dog? You, no. Jesus Christ. But why did he go through the whole bit of being nice to him and talking to him first? I don't get that. I have all the characteristics of a human being, but not a single clear identifiable emotion. Something horrible is happening inside of me. I feel lethal on the verge of frenzy. Jesus Christ. Why is that terrifying? Alan, Marcus, we should have dinner. Maybe you could bring uh, Cecilia? Well, then let's do it, Marcus. Oh, he just still pretends to be the other guy. Patrick, why is he calling you Marcus? Mistletoe alert. <laughs> oh, God, I can't even begin to think how exhausting it would be to be this fake all the time. Would you like to hear the double absolute martini? Would you like to hear the specials? Not if you want to keep your spleen. That would be horrible to stop. That's the biggest test of character. We should have gone to Dorcia. I could have gotten us a table. Nobody goes there anymore. Is that Ivana Trump? <laughs> no. Rothschild originally handling the Fisher account? How'd you get it? Oh, you can feel the envy. Beware the fragile ego. I like to dissect girls. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Great tan, Marcus. I mean but why is he ignoring that? He's saying he wants to dissect girls and you're complimenting his tan. Evelyn, great ass. Goes out with that loser. <laughs> oh, that meme. That's a classic. You like Huey Lewis in the news? Whole album has a clear, crisp sound and a new sheen of consummate oh, professionalism. I'm honestly terrified of him. He's just so jealous of him, of him, what he doesn't have. Cynical sense of humor. Don't do it. 
Da, da. Hip to be square. A song so catchy. Hey, Paul! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is too much. Yeah. The sounds! <laughs> Doesn't go really well with this song. He cares that much about this whole status. That's crazy. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Patrick? Patrick. Not now. We're trying to move a body. See, I'm not even rooting for him. It's just like we're observing. Where did you get that overnight bag? Jean-Paul Gaultier. Because normally if you're watching like an anti-hero or like a villain, you are you do sort of side with them to a point. But I really feel like I'm just this watcher, like seeing witnessing the craziness. There is a moment of sheer panic when I realize that Paul's apartment overlooks the park. And it's obviously more expensive than mine. You see, why are you thinking of this stuff? Hi, this is Paul. Been called away to London for a few days. Meredith, <laughs> Paul, you want to get back? Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. God, recording machines. I don't think I've left the voicemail for many years now. <laughs> Just thinking of carving his head in. Super relaxing, calming. Send him in, I guess. Now, John, you've got to wear clothes in proportion to your... Fake phone call. God, I love him. The Christian Bale, not, not the character. Okay, John, right, got it. I'm Donald Kimball. Hi, Pat Bateman. Nice to meet you. I know how busy you guys can get. I really just see him as Green Goblin. Nothing else. Out am I? Sure, I can always get you a line. Just some preliminary questions that I need for my own files, okay? Your address? American Gardens Building, West 81st Street. Nice, very nice. Nice, very nice. He loved saying that. I hope I'm not being cross-examined here. You feel like that? No, not really. You are being cross-examined. Just, I just want to help. <laughs> I understand. Dude, it feels like he knows. Like, I'm being cross-examined. People just disappear. And swallows them. Eerie. Really eerie. I'm sucked in with this scene. Wow. This is really good. <laughs> What's with the screaming? Why are you watching Texas Chainsaw? What is wrong with you? He did skip leg day though. It's okay. He's ripped enough. I haven't seen you around here. You'd like to see my apartment? God, don't kill her. Take a credit card. <laughs> that facial touch. Credit card? What? God, it has to be off the books. Why is he wearing tux? What are you. A tux for that? Uh, can't stress blonde enough. Blonde. Ooh, I feel really gross now. My name's Paul Allen. What? Why the hell are you. Oh god, he wants to be for Alan. Oh, that's so weird, man. I feel icky. I want you to clean your vagina. I'm sorry, come again! Get on your knees. Very nice body. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, uh, okay. This is weird. This is, this is... The messed up thing is, people could do this if they wanted to. I mean, no one's gonna stop you trying to pretend to be someone else, but it's just very strange to see. Not quite blonde, are you? I was about to say. More dirty blonde. Don't you want to know what I do? No, not really. I work on Wall Street. <laughs> so cringe. <laughs> people care about, oh, look, this is just, this is great. I don't want you to get drunk, but uh, a very fine Chardonnay. It's the pretentiousness, the ego. I've definitely never met anyone who goes to this level, but there's little bits, little nuances he has that I know people who are like. Is the group sound disputed? <laughs> no, girls leave. Please run. Please run. I don't think I've felt this weirded out watching anything on this channel so far. Here, every nuance of every Camera. Instrument. Hey guys, welcome back to another movie reaction today. <laughs> a couple collab. Oh god. Get down on your knees so Sabrina can see your out. Oh. What did he say? Sabrina, don't just stare at it. Eat it. Oh. Oh. Like that, is it? I would think someone like him wouldn't get horny or has this need for this, to be honest. Wait, why are you staring at yourself? It's the power thing? Just like looking at yourself and... Right. What are you doing? The flex? She must be thinking you're a nutter. Yeah, he just watches too much prawn and uh, mess with your mind. I really did not expect to take this turn. I thought it was going to be just like a psycho killer with a bit of satire, but this is... Oh no. We're not through yet. Oh my god, what? Why is she covered in blood? No. What was that? What the hell did you do? 
Wait, that's so messed up. What did you do? I see a pretty girl walking down the street. One part of me wants to take her out and talk to her. And what the other part of him think? What her head would look like on a stick. <laughs> My business card. Oh no. I decided to get a new one too. The exact same copy as everyone else's. Who comes up to a group of guys though? Check out my new business card. Walk away. Wait, he's gonna kill him for that business card? Oh yeah, no one can have a better business card than him, can they? Just gonna kill him in the bathroom? This is Hitman, get the fiber wire. Patrick, why here? Oh, it's like that. You can't imagine how long I've wanted this ever since that Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> he's washing his gloves. What is it? Gotta return some videotapes. I'm surprised he didn't kill him for that. Kissing his hand? He doesn't like to be touched at all. When was the last time you were with Paul Allen? New musical called Oh Africa, Brave Africa. <laughs> <laughs> it's the straight face he has. Huey Lewis in the news. <laughs> Bought it on my way here. You heard it? Oh, he heard it all right. Have to be square. Lunch next week? I'll be there. This acting, though. I'm genuinely blown away from this acting. Oh, of course. Hey, these have got some good bathrooms to do coke in. Telegram of sweetener. Keep it down, I'm trying to do drugs. Stop! Think it's okay! Steroids. Ooh. Steroids. These guys. The mental health. It's the ideal mental health. If this film has done anything for me so far, it's promoted mindfulness. So what do you do? Murders and executions mostly. Do you like it? Well, it depends. <laughs> It's not what he said. I think I'm dumb, don't you? I really don't. That's okay. I don't mind. Something sweet about you. Um, no, there's not. Maybe you are dumb. Oh no, the hair. How are these shots so harrowing? They don't need to show us him killing her. It's actually so good. Would you like to accompany me to dinner? No, I don't have any plans. <laughs> the outfit's kind of iconic, though. Where do you want to go? What about... <laughs> <laughs> Dorcia? You can't get a table. You're not actually Paul Allen. We're totally booked. Really? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I almost wish I could just lie to myself like he does. Just believe everything I say and think about myself, you know? Patrick, it's so elegant. I don't want him to kill her. Jean? <gasps> Sorbet? Oh my god. That is it's so clever the way I've done this. Seriously. No sound effect. Oh, you just. Oh. No need to lose any weight. You can always be thinner. <laughs> Look better. Well, ma <laughs> Sigma male. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I'm Stop just so feeling up the knives. Are you seeing anyone? Maybe. I don't know. Not really. Which one was it? You gave three answers. Did you know that, uh,. Ted Bundy's first dog, a collie, was named Lassie. Stop talking about serial killers. Make someone happy. Hey, what's he got? Have you what's ever he got? To? <gasps> Nail gun. Don't do it. Patrick, I know you're there. How are you, bad boy? Oh, so I rocked the whole desk. <laughs> According to his date book, and this was verified by his secretary. He had dinner with Marcus Helperstrom. Oh, good, it's not him. That's Marcus's name. Does Marcus have an alibi? I checked it out. It's clean. Where were you? <sighs> He's so stressed. Split town for a while. Maybe he did go to London. To think that one of his friends killed him for no reason whatsoever would be too ridiculous. Isn't that right, Patrick? What if... Dude, sometimes he's like... Not suspecting it, then he just pulls this crazy smile. Like, he goes normal, and then Green Goblin. No, 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 not her again. Don't get in the car, honey. It won't be anything like last time. I promise. I don't think so. Well, I actually might need a little surgery after last time. Surgery? What did you do? <whistles> don't do it. Half now, half later. Meeting a friend of mine, Elizabeth. Another girl. I don't know if I can watch this again. This is nicer than your other apartment. Oh, he won't like that. It's Paul Allen's. Not that nice. What do you do? Cousin. Uh huh. What? That's worse than saying what? Cousin? This isn't Game of Thrones, okay, Bateman? I'm at Paul Allen. I want the number, idiot. So anyway, I'm at Paul Norman's, and I'll try and get. <laughs> Paul Norman's. Wait to see. The two 
do we do? Get it on. <laughs> it's so bad. And they did it anyway. I mean, I don't know what drug that was. The Whitney Houston's debut LP. This is a strange. You own a Whitney Houston CD. <laughs> <laughs> He loves talking about music though. That seems like that's his only passion in life. Powerful songs ever written to better ourselves. <laughs> if you think that, then why are you just ruining your life killing people? That's beautifully stated on the album. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a transition. Oh no! Why you got blood in your mouth? What did you bite? What did you bite? A whole new meaning to eating someone out. <laughs> Oh, hell no. Hell no. Oh my god. A uh, chainsaw? It's the way he's like in his pants holding a chainsaw with trainers on. It's... Oh. Man, I'm terrified. Oh, not the face. I need therapy. <laughs> Just run. Stop banging on the doors. Just run. Run, run, run. No! Oh, he's not even wearing pants. No, he's naked with trainers. <laughs> he's naked with trainers on. That's so psycho. This is so loud. Oh my god. My ears. Jesus Christ. Um. All right. This is actually really disturbing. I want a firm commitment. Evelyn, that, uh, we've lost touch. But God, naked with trainers on. It's like naked with socks on. It just looks so weird. All over. Touchy touchy. I'm sorry I brought up the wedding. But how is she not hearing what you're saying about murder, killing people, homicidal stuff? Selective hearing or what? You're inhuman. No, I'm in, I'm in touch with humanity. Are I'm, you? I'm, uh, sorry, I just... You are inhuman. Here, kitty kitty. Don't kill the cat though, otherwise I'm turning the film off. What? Wait, wait, what? You fully lost the plot? No, 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 no! Oh my god. Oh! Okay. I'd still, I'd actually rather her get shot than the cat. I don't know why. <laughs> why is that fine and the cat's like, no! <laughs> Wait, is this real? Because he was hallucinating with the feed me a stray cat. Wait, no. That's not real. No, he's lost the plot. Burning the midnight oil, Mr. Smith. Is any of this real? <laughs> I'm confused. Is he tripping? I don't understand. Stop killing everyone. Even if you are dreaming, why are you just shooting everyone without thinking? How is there not much left? I want more, man. It's Bateman, Patrick Bateman. You're my lawyer, so I think you should know. I've killed a lot of people. Some homeless people, maybe five or ten. Um, five or ten? I, uh, I killed another girl. Okay, the kill count's like 50. There, I can't remember. Maybe I'm not a little bit. I killed Paul Allen with an axe dissolving in a bathtub in Hell's Kitchen. 20 people. Maybe oh, 20. 40. Oh, 40. And you really do Dude, why are you confessing? I ate some of their brains. Oh. <laughs> And I tried to cook a little. Oh, uh, I mean... Oh. And the acting award goes to... Keep your eyes open. The way that was all in one shot. I... This is so intense. Imagine going into this film blind. I didn't go in fully blind like I knew some bits. But like, blind? Hell no, man. Well, I feel like re-watching this after. Just to appreciate some of the scenes, now, now the shock factor's gonna be gone. Well, I guess I get to watch it when I edit it. Is he gonna kill anyone else before this ends? What are you doing? You're giving me flashbacks down to the pandemic. Why is that kind of cold though, with the suit and the mask? You can't deny he looks good. Oh wait, that's where the bodies were. Wait, is this Paul Allen's place? Or is this his own? Is it? Yeah, it's not. Um, it is Paul Allen's place. Can I help you? Paul Allen's place. My fair. No, he doesn't. Wait, what's going on? Sure. This feels like a David Lynch movie now. I want to know what happened here. Don't make any trouble, please. 
I suggest you go. What well, What are you not telling us? Why are you so mysterious? Hey, come back! Hey! Don't come back. I'm Why are you so mysterious? Don't worry. I don't know what the hell just happened. It's hard to trust what he's seeing now, because again, he's on so many meds. He's going a little bit loopy. Imagining cars exploding, so... The way this and Joker, I didn't even realize how kind of similar <laughs> some of the themes are. Patrick, I can't hear you. What am I doing? I don't think I'm gonna make it, G. What is it, Patrick? Are you all right? I'm sounding so sad. But like an audition for Joker. Maybe he did audition for Joker in Dark Knight. Is that his desk? What are you gonna find? Like a woman's finger. Bryce is back and he's drinking mineral water. Yeah. He's a changed man. I'm not going anywhere unless we have a reservation. Let's get a res. Keep your shirt on. <laughs> Dude, he's freaking out. Did you get my message? Yes, that was hilarious. That was you, wasn't it? Wait, Harold. It's good to see you. They called him David. Davis. Davis. Bateman is such a dork. Wait, um, stop. I'm Patrick Bateman. Chop Allen's head off. The silence is killing me. Don't you know who I am? We talk on the phone all the time. Listen. My heart's beating so fast. I'm so confused. But that's simply not possible. Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid bastard? That's a good meme. Because I had dinner with Paul Allen twice in London. No, you... You met Paul Allen? Is that true? I mean, he did think he was Davis, but still. I don't know. I don't know what's real and what's not. I don't. This is very Joker, very David Lynch. Oh, Jesus. It's the way someone had to draw this for the film. Oh, my God. I don't even want to go near the book. <laughs> I'm just a happy camper. <laughs> Rocking and a rolling. <laughs> I don't know if it happened or not. Can you tell me? Can we clarify this? Or if he literally just lived out his fantasies in that book? All I have in common with the uncontrollable and the insane. My pain is constant and sharp, but even after admitting this, my punishment continues to elude me. This confession has meant nothing. Do I have to pretend now like I understand the monologue and what happened to this end? I don't know what happened. No, 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 no. So why did that film go so quick? Hour and a half. I'm a little baffled by the ending still. I'm not sure how much of it was real. I'd be very surprised if the whole thing was like, it's a dream, it's all a dream. You know, I think it's playing on the fact that that lawyer doesn't know who he is. Everyone's kind of wrapped up in their own lives. All their attention is just internal. They don't really know his names, they don't care about you. It's just that self-expression that's very shallow. But I didn't think I would laugh this much at this film. Some of it, sure, is from all the TikToks and memes I see about the, you know, Patrick Bateman. But it was funny. It was genuinely funny, and you have to laugh at how crazy some of the scenes are too. You know, because if you, if you take it seriously and absorb it all, it's probably gonna mess you up a little bit. And there are some scenes that are a little bit uh, crazy to watch. And the acting, I mean, everyone knows Christian Bale's an amazing actor. You don't need me to validate your opinion on him being an amazing actor. We all know it. And I'd love to hear what your interpretation of the whole film is. You know, do you think it was all a dream? Do you think it was all real? I mean, I don't know about the stray cat and the shoot in the car explosion being real, but I'd love to hear, see how you interpret this film. And of course, if you did want the full length reaction to this, early access to a lot more reactions, exclusive content, vlogs, all that good stuff, be sure to check out my Patreon, and we do have a great community over there right now. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Help me get to 100,000 before my birthday, the 23rd of May. Thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.